Apex Gee whiz, the sand here is so soft. No shit, we're in California. Why are we not replaying Californian games? Peggy got a sheet. Oh no, no, we have to have California games. <laughs> well, I don't understand your gibberish, but let me throw this flying disc in first. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me, that was incredible. Yeah, if only they paid me to do this. Would be rich as kings! You won't believe it. The California gaming tournament's coming into town and I want you in it. You're gonna make us millions. I don't even believe in myself any. You've got skills, I saw you. I don't I don't even know where you got those skills. Well I'll tell you, when I was a kid growing up, I played California games for the NES constantly. I got so many points! I got the high score of Bunko Land! <laughs> Losing points! Good thing I didn't see you fall your ass down there! No one else got points in skateboarding you know how either. Funny, you can skate right now. It's a little harder without a controller. Some of my tricks, some work, and some just don't. I'm hungry for a high score. If I don't get points, my parents are gonna send me to military school. I'm the Nintendo Master. I got Nintendo Power. They named that magazine after me. Okay, I got more points than all players. Fucking moron. Watch you watch your dirty mouth cuss in my face. Give me some effort points. All I wanted was a high score. I didn't need a suitcase of Benjamin Franklin bills. It all started with you. And it's your land as well. Yeah. Hi, I'm uh, Kitty Beckler here. <laughs> Woo! This is my first little section here. Today we're going to be doing a little interview with uh, Kevin Zeef, star of California. What Games. the fuck up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, surely some of the surely uh, some of the in in inspiration here came from the uh, the, nah, the never, video game the, the the video game itself, the California. I don't know. I never played that. Yeah. <laughs> surely. <laughs> You get hooked up an emulator. <laughs> you can't talk about that. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna... Next question here. Yeah, f you, man. Out of the cards here. <laughs> you, brother. Prepare your bonjours for the douche. Hi, I'm Percival LaDouche, and this week's game is Mario Brothers 3. God, this game is shitty. The biggest disappointment in this sequel is the graphics. The game hardly looks real, it's like you're playing a cartoon! This game came out right after the movie, and Nintendo had a golden opportunity to base its graphics, color palette, and story as a sequel to the movie, and instead I missed it completely. The Koopa Kids are uh, just atrocious, and I don't think I need to say why. Most of the world themes are dumb. For example, Fat World isn't even scaled correctly. The bad guys were too big, and it would discourage me from continuing to play. Most of the power-ups just make the game complicated and more frustrating. Most real gamers will just stick to the mushrooms and fire flowers, a la Mario Bros. 1. Yoshi would have made a this game so much better, and I'll never understand why Nintendo didn't have Yoshi in this installment. The critics' success that duped fans into purchase. This game receives a 4 out of 10 for atrocious graphics and repetitive, shitty gameplay. Ass Nessie. Uh -oh. And here he is, folks! <laughs> Yeah. 
Nasty Lightning Bolt 7 asks, What do you do in your spare time besides video games? Video games? <laughs> Man, fuck that shit. Hold up, Snessy, I know you're frustrated. Don't you got shit to do? Now, Snessy, quit f bunking around and tell the kids just how much you love a bowl of. Ah, oh, yeah, I just love sp Spoledios? Spolodios? I eat them all the time. I eat them every day. Come on, Snazzy, just tie it all in. And uh, just make sure to Facebook friend me and buy all the Dolphin Star Cube merchandise and Z Prods merchandise. Yes, I, uh, yes, great. <laughs> Oh. That's all we have time for. Now somebody tie this belt around my face. That's enough. Top five. Howdy, folks. I'm Apples McDerry. And I'm Chaz. Today's top five is top five worst sidekicks. Shall we? That we shall, Apples. Number five. For all of us who couldn't wait for the Babysitter's Club role-playing game, we had Kitty Kong. Lugging around and playing with this doo-doo infested diaper ape shithole was always a pleasure. And what late age teenager couldn't stop laughing at his insistent babiness? Great job, Rare. Great job. Number four. Co-op for the Super Mario Galaxy, the perfect game to play with your newborn baby. Congratulations. Just throw the remote in his or her hands and have some family fun. Am I to believe that somewhere there's uh, two actually cool guys who are serious about co-op in this game? J Chuck T. Oh, why thank you, Navi. I would have never thought to aim my crossbow with the boss's eyeball. Listen. Oh, thanks, Navi. I've forgotten rupees hide under rocks. Watch out. Thanks, Navi. I finally remembered how much I want to kill myself. <laughs> Step aside, Rush, cause Tango's in town. That's right, this feline critter's going all nuts, transforming in the freaking metal things, getting stuck and... Ah, damn it. Nintendo's GoldenEye took Artificial Intelligence Co-op to a whole other level with- Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Natasha from 007 was as smart as she was- Shit, god damn it! Sure, you had to keep her alive, but she was always helping- Hey, don't go there! Don't be a fucking- Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, kids! Welcome to this week's preview game with your host, Grand Moff Preview! Our first game, The Old Republic, comes to you from the uh, outer galaxy limits that brought you the old blockbuster flop, Knights of the Old Republic. I mean, I heard the stories, it's stupid anyways, it's about Django Salacious, you know, leads a, um, an army of dewbacks across the ta Tatooine Desert to a... Uh, I don't know, just some stupid Jar Jar Binks shit. <laughs> but the first two classes revealed are phenomenal. Get this, the trooper and the bounty hunter. Wow, <laughs> oh man. I mean, what kid didn't want to be a stormtrooper when they saw them fight the epic battle against the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi? Gah, domination. And then the bounty hunters, man. I mean, take Boba Fett, for example. That guy's like God with a jetpack. With the series branching out like this, I mean, who knows what could be next? M Moisture Farmer Tycoon? Maybe even Max Rebo's Keyboard Hero! <sighs> well, that concludes our preview. And remember, kids, always drink your blue milk! Game of the Week, where I get drunk as a skunk and play your favorite classic game. This week's game? Mega Man 2. Thanks, Capcom. If I know my Mega Man, then I should start with Crash Man. Cause he's the easiest to beat with the Mega Blaster. Yeah, I'm doing really good. This is going real good. When I pull my Mega Buster out on this guy, he's he is going to quiver. Maybe we ought to start off with an idiot. That's uh oh you look stupid. Uh no! Do I still have a mild cheese? I'm gonna go run and see. I got I got like three craft singles. It's, it's close enough. It's like a square of cheese whiz. It's delicious. 
I didn't even know. They might be expired. I don't give a shit. But these frogs wish that they were exploding craft singles out of their mouths. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, uh, let's just put. Let's just try some bubbles on wood. Why? Why not? Why not? Intelligence, go. Okay, use your brain. Go. 